Something similar can be defined for functions on infinite intervals of type minus infinity a, where a may be infinity as well. The limit of x2 minus infinity fx equals the number l. If for all epsilon larger than zero, there is a number n epsilon in R such that when we take x smaller than n epsilon, then we take x smaller than n epsilon, then this implies that the difference between fx and l is small, at least smaller than epsilon. So by picking x small enough, fx is close to l. Well, we will illustrate this by the following function, defined on minus infinity 0. So take fx equal to 1 minus 1 over x. Then you see clearly that the limit of fx for x to minus infinity equals 1, right? So 1 over x vanishes and 1 remains. So we will show now that the limit is indeed 1. And we follow the definition here. So take epsilon larger than 0, arbitrary but fixed. Then we'll look at the difference of fx and the supposed limit 1. The absolute value of the difference is equal to the absolute value of minus 1 over x. So this is the absolute value of 1 over x. And this is smaller than epsilon if only x is chosen small enough and x is chosen smaller than 1 minus 1 over epsilon. So according to the definition above, then we might take an epsilon equal to minus 1 over epsilon. Since then, if we take x smaller than an epsilon, then the absolute value of x minus 1 is smaller than epsilon. Well, if the function value ten, tend to some number l for x is small enough, then we will call this l the horizontal asymptote. Yeah, why is l is, a is called the horizontal asymptote for x going to minus infinity.